Hello everyone, I am Brianna and welcome to today's video. I am so glad that you're here for another planner flip. And that's what I'm doing today. I'm gonna to show you the inside of my Hobonichi cousin for the last, I think I'm gonna show you two weeks because on my last video, those pages were blank and I told you that I was going to back plan. Um, and then I'll show you this current week that we're on. I'll show you how I've been um, utilizing the pages. I have to say, I think I found a system that works for me where I'm tracking homeschool and daily life as well as um, like timed things. I have to say, I have been loving the weekly spread as well as my daily pages. So let's get started. Okay, let me move my coffee and the pens to the side and we will get started. Um, we finally have a sunny day outside. It has been, man, our weather has been crazy the last few months here with wind and rain and just like freezing cold temperatures. And so I'm in California and we're not really used to like really cold temperatures. I mean, um, there was snow on our mountains, which once in a blue moon that happens, but not often. Um, it's just been, it's been, it's been a wild winter, uh, where I live. It's usually like a mild 65 all year long, which is good. Like there are temperatures that get into the hundreds, but that is not until like fall and it's only a couple weeks. So, um, yeah, these cold temperatures are really getting us. So this warm coffee, that's why I have it today right next to me because it's keeping my hands warm. Um, but let's start with this monthly spread. I love this spread. Um, it's so like bright and cheery to me and it keeps everything that I need uh, to know about the month. And then when I'm setting up a week, I reference back to see, okay, what do we have going on? Uh, what do I need to focus on for that week? And then I have this Ollie clip here that is attaching, like it has these pages in the middle so that I can easily grab and flip to my current week. And this is where I am at now. So the week of the 6th, March 6th, we are on the 11th today. I know on my last video, I said that I was going to try to film this on Friday and that just didn't happen. So we ended up getting an evacuation warning for our area because our river is, it's like threatening to flood again. And I don't know if you remember that in videos past, I think like in January, we had um, evacuation orders to get out because the river was potentially going to overflow. Well, it never happened, but this time they're saying that it's going to, I think the highest the river got was like 25 feet. And this time they're saying like 27.8 feet and that is definite flooding. So we'll see what actually happens. Um, there's a break in the weather. It's gonna rain a little bit tomorrow, but then really come down on Tuesday. So I'm just keeping an eye on things. Um, I ended up, you know, going grocery shopping and kind of uh, getting meals planned for a few days just in case something happens, but they're not expecting it to flood until like Thursday. So um, anyways, that threw me off. So I didn't plan, uh, not plan, I didn't make my video to show you my planner. So it is happening today on the 11th. Now, if you look at my spread, I have so many things that I wrote in there and it was like canceled, 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 canceled. Oh, canceled. So there was so much stuff that we were going to do, but the rain and sickness canceled all of our plans. Um, it's okay though, because when I look at this page, I see, okay, well, that is what we had going on, but canceled, you know? And then I even wrote here um, rain and I actually should do... I should write rain here too, just so that I know why it was canceled. And then um, 
we didn't go to our CC community day because I had two sick kiddos and my husband was out of town. Um, he went snowboarding overnight. And so I didn't have anyone, like usually if I have a child who is sick, I'll leave the sick kids home and then still um, go to our community homeschool day and tutor and everything like that. But I didn't have him here to watch the kids. And then um, his ortho appointment, you know, with him being sick. Now, my daughter, she still was able to do her baseball games, which, I mean, this was practice. This was a game. It is so adorable to watch little four-year-olds play t-ball. So, so cute. Um, and then my poor son, Levi, he hasn't had a game yet because all of his games are can have been canceled because of rain. So he's kind of bummed. Hopefully next week he can get a game in and be able to play. Um, I have been tracking reading and water. So I put this note on here, water, because mentally I will see that and I'll be like, oh yeah, I need to drink water. So I have been having like daily migraines <laughs> And um, I started upping my intake of water and doing an electrolyte mix in my water. Like I normally don't like flavored water at all. Like I just, I love the taste of just plain water, but adding this electrolyte mix once a day has helped. Like ever since I started that, I haven't had a headache, you guys. So um, if you are needing to be convinced of drinking more water and adding electrolytes into your, your day, um, you should do it because it actually helped my headaches. Um, okay, let's move on to the daily pages. Let's get to where I want to be. Okay, so we're gonna start, let's start here. I ended up not filling in Wednesday the 1st. In all honesty, I don't really remember what happened. I know that we had such a down day and we didn't do much because that was the day that my parents left um, and went back home and we were just really tired. So we might have watched a movie and just kind of laid around all day. Um, I really, I cannot remember. On Thursday, I all I really wrote in here is like the main things that we did. Like I had to teach a science class for a homeschool group. So like all that morning, I was really kind of last minute prepping for it, making sure that I had all my papers and um, the tools that I wanted to show. Like I got um, a barometer, like an old school, like with the water in it. So it shows like with the pressure and stuff. And then a Galileo, thermometer, which was like really cool. And so they were both glass, um, but I wanted to make sure I understood exactly how they worked before I explained it to all of the kids. Um, Friday, we, oh, this was actually really fun. So I don't know if you've heard of Julie Bogart. Um, she is in the homeschool community. Uh, Brave Writer is what she runs um, for like a writing curriculum for kids. And we did tea time with her. So um, a local homeschool group randomly contacted her and asked her, well, do you ever do speaking engagements? Like, would you be willing to come and uh, have a tea time with us? And we'll do lunch and all of that. And it happened to be where her mother lives close by and she was visiting for two weeks and so she said hey why not and it was just a very special time we had lunch and tea and there was like little booths to do shopping with local um, moms who made things um, or bake things and then she gave her about like an hour and a half speech like her her talk and and then we got to chat with her so it was it was definitely something that I'm glad that I went to um, the fourth was uh, first day of baseball, so we had pictures and games. Um, I was super, super tired that day though and didn't want to do dinner, so we did pizza. Um, Sunday, let's see, I was getting ready for the week ahead and then CC, we didn't end up doing. 
Oh, here. I introduced my four-year-old to Three Ninjas. Like, my older kids have seen that movie. But um, she mentioned, like, hey, I want to be a ninja when I grow up. And I was like, really? You do? Okay, cool. You know? And um, I was like, you want to see a ninja movie? And she's like, yeah. So I turned on Three Ninjas, and she loved it. Um, a highlight here are Gonzaga team for college basketball they won their west coast conference so that was a fun game to watch um in my pages here i've been marking like when i'm wearing makeup for the day like no makeup no makeup i don't know why i'm tracking that but it's just kind of fun to see okay, how often do i actually wear makeup um and then i started putting school like in this box and this is what has, like, I really liked this, actually. Um, I started out small, and then if you keep turning, you can see how, or if I keep turning, not you, I'm turning the pages, um, the list kind of got longer. So I would put, like, lesson numbers and what we're doing, like, in the order that we're doing it. Um, but I like having this kind of off to the side. I'm not paying attention to the time or anything. I'm just writing what we're doing. Um, I started a new book, Raising Critical Thinkers, and that is by Julie Bogart. So I'm actually listening to it on audio while having the book in front of me uh, following along so that I can underline while she is reading it to me. Um, so I'm reading along, but I kind of... I'm liking that because with this book, I feel like I need to actually like process it and hearing it and actually seeing it is it helps me process that better. Um, I make notes of when I water my plants and then I have like a little to do section on each um, page and that is like what I need to really do that day, like the laundry or um, send my mail out or return Amazon things list curriculum that I'm selling on eBay or on Facebook groups and just like important things that I need to do. Um, let's see, what else? Okay, so today is the 11th here and I kind of wrote out, so, okay, this is kind of like a, a note for like a memory. River is flooding, so I looked out our window we can see the whole valley um, in our backyard from our backyard, and the river last night was just a contained river, and now it's kind of overflowing into the farm fields. So that was kind of like a big oh no, the river is getting th bigger, you know. Um, I have like the YouTube videos that I want to film, and like my main ones that I want to do today and tomorrow are film the end of the week flip. So I'm doing that now. I want to film the weekly setup for next week. And then I need to film this video for classical conversations. I was sent a new curriculum called Scribblers and I have to give a short little um, blip of how we're using it in our homeschool. But I also want to um, make a video flipping through it so that other CCers or people who are interested in it could actually see what it's all about and what's in it. So I have to and want to do that either today or tomorrow. Um, and then I'm gonna be posting that to my YouTube. I know um, you guys are mostly planners here, but um, I originally intended for this channel to be homeschool and then it's turned into planners, which I love, but I'm also not gonna give up the homeschool side. I'll still post homeschool videos here and there, even though they're not as popular, I just, I still like to do that. Um, okay, tomorrow I already kind of have a plan jot, jotted down. I have my CC prep in this homeschool area that I have created on my pages. Also notice that Saturday doesn't have one of those boxes. This is gonna be more of like a free for all, just jot anything down paper because I don't need a big section of like school, right? Cause we're not doing school on Saturday. Um, and then I have a top priority here. I want to get food and 
I still haven't figured out dinner for tonight or tomorrow night. Um, let's see, what else do I... I think back here, okay. I might have filled this out a little bit more uh, since the last time. Um, this is all the school work and books that we're going to get and need for my children and their school year next year. So um, my oldest will be in challenge A, challenge A with classical conversations. So these are all the books that he needs. Um, I'm gonna get him a Bible curriculum, his math, and then spelling. I have my other son here and then my other kids as well. So I'm just kind of writing out and mapping out what we wanna use. Um, and then I will go ahead and mark off what I have already purchased or what I need to buy still so that I can just like clearly see the plan, you know? All right, well, those are my pages. I hope that you enjoyed seeing them. I still haven't really done anything here for March, the, the main page. I know that mid-March I wanna decorate for Easter. I usually decorate for Easter after St. Patrick's Day. Um, so I'm thinking like the 18th or something. If we're still home, we might be heading up to the mountains again, but if we're still home, I'm definitely going to decorate for Easter. Um, and then I wanted, I jotted down this note because I usually forget to film these and I kind of want to start filming them, but it is like a quarter one review video of what planners I've used, what I'm using, what I liked, what I didn't like. Um, so this is like a note here. So I'll remember to actually film something like that at the end of the month. Um, that also might be fun to do a quarter review for homeschool too. So I haven't decided if I wanted to do that or not either. So that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, as always, let me know if you have any questions, any comments down below. I will answer them the best I can for you or chit chat with you. Um, I'm going to try to film the weekly setup either today, maybe tomorrow. So that will be up as well. It is going to be a lot of green. Like I have my stack over here, like already picked out. Um, I'm going all in for St. Patrick's day, you guys. So, um, prepare for the green and gold. Um, I don't know how it will turn out. You'll have to see. Um, how I'm going to put it all together, but I will see you all next time. Bye.